on to transportation now. They call it the spaghetti bowl, but drivers will tell you there is nothing appetizing about making your way through the circle interchange. So transportation officials unveiled a new plan to fix the notorious bottleneck. NBC for us on this Thursday morning. Thank you. In the news, the president of the United States of America taking a pay cut. That's a story coming up. Plus big developments overnight in Connecticut about the state's gun laws. Also, we showed you. And it is not just flu shots and ankle sprains anymore. Walgreens says that it will now diagnose and treat patients for chronic conditions. They take, that's good. Feeling a little under the weather, you stop by. And one stop shop yeah, and get the medication. Shopping. If you didn't get your tickets for Lollapalooza, sorry, no medicine for that. You're out of luck. We're going to tell you how fast they sold out coming up next. Really fast. Plus, a big new honor for Hydea Pendleton's mother around for a few more days. Yeah, we still need it this morning, but things are going to change later this afternoon. Andy has good news for us. You know, winter coat required this morning as you head out the door because it's certainly a cold start, but you'll be able to. Well, the bad headlines about crime in Chicago apparently haven't hurt hotel business. Well, the city says hotel occupancy and revenue grew in the first quarter of this year, and the numbers are back to levels we haven't seen since before the recession. Well, the mayor's office says the hotel tax generated about $450 million in revenue are still undefeated and they'll look to sweep the Royals this afternoon at the cell. You can watch the game on Comcast Sportsnet. The Cubs hope to have better luck against the Pirates when they meet today in Pittsburgh. Tonight the Bulls are back in action against the Nets while the Blackhawks hit the ice against the Blues on Comcast Sportsnet. Good luck to all. Hoping for that win. You know, and he, he's probably not, he's not going to be able to play with them, but he wants right. to be able to cheer them on oh, and yeah. be with his team. It's a big motivation out of that team. Get them going once again. Painful at first, but better in the long run. That's how IDOT is describing its plan to revamp the Circle Interchange. We're going to have a live report from the interchange coming up. Plus, Mayor Rahm Emanuel decides who will be in charge of the construction projects needed to improve dozens of CPS schools. Also, we're going to show. But for a mother, what a peace of mind that is. To see your to child. To be able to see your baby and bond when you can't be there with the baby. And the fact that they react Incredible. to your voice and to your sight. That's pretty cool. Best feeling ever. Priceless. It is 626 right now. If you suffered from wisdom teeth and you don't want to use the kids to do the same, you don't want your kids to do the same, that is, you're going to want to hear a story we have for you coming up after 645. My jaw it hurts just already. thinking about that right now. Plus, goodbye pork chop meat. Getting a makeover at your local grocery store. But first, police. Alderman Tom Tunney thinks the magic bullet to solve the Cubs Wrigleyville stalemate might be a parking garage. Lakeview neighbors owners in Chicago can say goodbye to the 7% cap on property assessment increases. The cap was created at the height of the real estate boom when taxes in some neighborhoods soared. But since then, home values have fallen and the cap doesn't have such a big impact. So it expires in the city this year. The north suburbs expires next year and the south suburbs the year after that. Stefan? Or not, but I hated that procedure. I still have two that I have to get taken. You have out. to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I know. <laughs> this morning, a soldier from suburban Robioville is waking up in the arms of his family. Awesome story. Yeah. For the last nine months, Army Specialist Alfredo Fuentes has been deployed to Kuwait. Last night, 